What is the MAD of the data set shown below? Round your answer to the nearest tenth when necessary. Now the MAD stands for the mean absolute deviation. And there are several steps to finding this. Step one is we need to find the mean of the data set. So mean, if you remember, we start by adding all of these numbers together. And when I do that, you'll see that I get a total of 54. But to find the mean, I then need to divide it by however many numbers there are in my data set. In this case, there are 6, so our mean is equal to 9. Now, the next step is where it gets a little trickier. I always like to create a table to help me. What we're going to do is we are going to find how much each number in our data set deviates from our mean of 9. So, I'm going to create this table here to help show this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it into three different columns. The first column, what I'll do is I'll take each number from the data set and list it over here. 11, 8, 5, 10, 7, and 13. Now I've left an extra um, row at the bottom on purpose. The next step is I'm just going to put the mean, 9, in the middle. So the left set or left column will be the data, the middle column will be the mean, and the right column will be the deviation. That means the difference, the overall difference between that data point and the mean. So the difference between 11 and 9 is 2, 8 and 9 is 1, 5 and 9 is 4, 1, 2, and 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these numbers in the far right column and find the mean of those numbers. When I add all of these together, you'll see that I get a total of 14. And there are six data points. So 14 divided by 6. When I solve that, I get 2.33, but it says to round to the nearest tenth. So the mean absolute deviation, the MAD of this data set, is 2.3.